Greetings fellow loners, and welcome to the Loner's Guide to Ark Survival Evolved. In this episode, we're going to attempt to tame a dung beetle. And see how its poop to uh, fertilizer and oil conversion thing works. And I think that's got a lot of us pretty excited, and rightfully so. Um, I could definitely use a fertilizer, and that's actually what I'm doing here. And that also comes with the good news. The good news is, after wiping the wild dinos off my map, uh, those dimetrodons are spawning in my swamps and in my rivers, and I have no problems finding them. Uh, still have not seen a wild procoptodon anywhere occurring naturally. So, off to my left hand, you can, in the distance, you can see the one I summoned. I still have him. I renamed him Swamp Donkey. And the reason I finally did the wipe wild dinos, even though I don't like to do it, well, it's because I wanted some of these new wild dinos. But over my right shoulder, you see Leviathan, my kibble-tamed, perfect kibble-tamed, formerly 120, now I think 184, Spino. So I finally got a Spino, and he's a good one. So I'm stoked about that. The bad news. The bad news is... Nothing spawns in my caves. I checked. I spent a good part of the day looking for dung beetles. I don't know if that's going to make it in the video. It's just I have hours of recorded stuff that's just taking up space in my hard drive. Just, you know, exploring the caves, not finding a single living thing. And there never has been for the months I've been playing this game. Because it's a single player game. And it, it, doing some research, it seems that at least as far back as June, he, probably since a single player came out, people have been complaining that nothing, you know, no dinos were spawning in their caves. So, it doesn't seem like it's going to get fixed anytime soon. It's already January 2016, so. I, if I'm going to have things in my caves, I'm probably going to have to set up a dedicated server, I think. So what we're going to have to do is summon the beetle and try to tame him. And go from there. So let's do it. Okay guys, I just summoned a dung beetle. If I haven't told you already, uh, my caves don't spawn any creatures of any kind. Now obviously, if you know that I'm wearing insect repellent, it is obviously not working. But their strange thing is, that these things will not tame less aggro, but you gotta wait till they're tired. Yeah, tire them out so they'll get hungry, I guess. And this is a low level, so... And I'm lazy, so that's fine with me right now, as long as it'll make fertilizer and whatnot. That's what I really need from it right now is a fertilizer. Okay, first of all, the best thing to tame with is poop. And the bigger the poop, the better it tames. So human poop is the worst, large animal poop is the best. And the second thing is you put your poop in your zero slot down there in your bar, also called your taming slot. And then when the creature is hungry, you press E to give it the, the food. And that's how you tame. Uh oh, he's tired again. I'm gonna be starving to death by before this is over. I'm going to eat that meat. Oh, I got eggs. Good. I did think ahead. Ow. You're a bastard. I'm gonna make you eat shit when I tame you. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's got renewed energy now. Come on. Oh, now he's tired. Yeah, hopefully he's getting close. Tame. Oh, hey, don't forget to put the poop in the taming slot, the zero slot, every time you feed. It doesn't stack like meat does, so you have to redo it every time. Tried to get it to him. I guess I got too close again. This looks like it's gonna be my first pass of tame.
Oh, yay. I have tamed a dung beetle. Well, you know, I really am happy because... You know... Hopefully save me a lot of work. Uh, boopy? I don't know. Poopy. Okay, Poopy, let's go. Now, I wonder how... I wonder what happens if I do this. Probably nothing, huh? Only when can okay can turn fecal matter into oil and compost, but only when wandering. Okay, come along. Okay, so set it to wander. I I, I know what I'm gonna do because I don't want to play this stupid game. I don't think. Cause I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll like uh actually wander towards poop, but if it's anything like the freaking over raptor and trying to get to pick up an egg. Well, it does it on follow, but I'm gonna give you some melee damage. Oh yeah, that's what I want. The stones. How much weight did that little bastard have? Come on. You carry 5.3 pounds, which is not very much. So. Okay. Wonder your little heart out. Now he'll probably only eat when hungry. He can't carry anymore. Let's see, I'll give him a pound. I don't know how this works. Yeah. There we go. Get hungry. Okay, this fight this obviously won't take a while. I'm not quite as excited at this point. We will see. Oh, I just noticed, guys, he's moving very slowly. Let's see what's up with him. Hmm. He's got five pounds on him, and he can still crawl along. Maybe I should just let him wander. I don't know how this is supposed to work. Now, it's telling me this in the inventory. Maybe that's because it's got more better to tell it to me, but maybe I should be putting poop in his inventory. Or maybe he's supposed to be finding it on his own. I don't know. Okay. Wander to your heart's content. Oh, oh, he's following me. That's why. Yeah, wander. Wander. Yeah, he's only going to do it when he's hungry. How often is he going to get hungry? Hmm. How could I make him hungry? So, I want to try to give him some stem berries here, see if that helps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! What to do? Went right... Boy, he's got to be pretty hungry to eat one of those, huh? only carry so many because he's not very strong. Boy, that one poop must give him a lot of nourishment. He ought to be hungry, but he's not going for any poops. He's just kind of wandering. He won't die of starvation. Mm. 
I mean, how hungry has he got to be? Let's take this one out, see if he'll eat a small one, smaller one, medium one. Okay. How about if I drop one, like, right in front of you? Then it would be too much for me to expect you to actually find your own poop. You gotta be like the Obi. Is it finding eggs, huh? Hopeless. Now hold your hand. I need to get some more of those stem berries, I guess. Let's see. There was a poop there. By the time he gets to the poop, it's gonna be gone. If, if he's gonna be looking for ones on the ground, that's kind of what I'm curious about. this. It's valuable shit there. Look, do I gotta eat this stuff myself? Okay, I'm gonna get some more stem berries. Okay, next experiment. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a medium one here. And hit zero, hit zero and it but you, what, what did I do? How did I do that? Oh, cool. Maybe it's too big of a poop. Maybe I need a tiny poop. An egg. Came over here a little while ago. She had like five or six eggs. Okay, let's get a little tiny poop. Where did that thing go? You still hungry? Four. I don't want to kill the thing of starvation. Maybe it just takes time. Where, oh, here it is. Tiny poop. Here we go. We almost started that before we get. Okay, I'm gonna remote use. No, I can't remote use it. Great. So I'm thinking that maybe this has nothing to do with hunger. I don't know. Large, medium. Hey, come on, that's supposed to be like your what you do. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna see, check the time now. Okay, so I'm going to check back at, in a while. Now, if you ever sh just read in one of the forums, someone said it took about a half hour for them to make this stuff. Although they didn't really go into detail about how it was done. So maybe it's just as simple as what we're doing. Put them on Wander and letting them uh, put poop in his inventory because he doesn't seem to pick it up on its own. What I'm going to do, I think, is put them in a pan. Something I don't know about. 
Yeah. All right. Oh, he ate. He did it. He ate the poop because he's not starving anymore. Oh, close to it. No, he didn't. What did he eat? Oh, he must be eating out of the damn feeding trough. I bet it's meat. He's eating all the meat. I don't know how that's going to work. Well, there's no more feeding trough. Maybe he, he's like processing it as he processes that food. It abates his hunger. Well, maybe he just ate all the meat. Well, I guess there's a way to test this. Hey, just come over here, Leviathan, please. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Got a lot of shit in my inventory. Okay, so he should be getting something out of that if he's... Yeah, he's his hunger's being abated. Yeah, he's eating. He's eating out of the trough. I don't know if that does anything for us. I can't get him to remote eat. I can get a remote eat uh, eggs too heavy. I can get a remote eat berries, but not poop. So, let's see if I can get a remote. Oh, he didn't need no remote eat, he ate it. He's all about meat. Well, well, well. Well, we're just going to come back in a while and see how this plays out. Hey, guys, check this out. See how long has it been? Got six oil and... Boy, that that's like, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes. I gave him that, that poop 15 minutes ago, and I already got six oil and three fertilizers for uh, one large poop. Awesome. You're going to get another large poop, buddy. And if he levels, I'm going to up his weight. I guess what I should do, eh, uh, he probably can't carry anymore. Okay, so second level up for my dung beetle. First time I leveled health, and I'm a level weight now. So, I wonder if I could... Yeah, I could fit a medium and a large in there now. Yeah. He's not going anywhere fast, but he doesn't need to. They're right, Poopai. He's Poopai the beetle man. Doop, doop. He lives in a taming pen. Doop, doop. He's uh strong to the uh, I'll be back. I'll be back with a song. It'll be clever, trust me. Okay, it's been about fifteen minutes since I collected the fertilizer and oil from poop by and gave him some more poop, so Hopefully we'll see some more conversion any minute or second now. There it is. Just a few seconds after I, and you could check the clock in my inventory. You don't believe me? Uh, there he is. So it's right about 15 minutes. Right about 15 minutes and 
Okay, he, he converted one. He converted the four pounder. Now I gave him this a few minutes later. So I guess that's the deal with that. Okay, and just to be clear, just to clarify and go over it. Uh, hunger doesn't matter. He apparently does not pick these things up on his own under any circumstances. So you got to give them to him. But uh, he will convert them in 15 minutes. And it doesn't matter if he's hungry or, or not. And he doesn't seem to get any nutrition out of him. So you're going to have to feed these things, uh, I guess, meat. These things got to eat meat. I wonder if they can eat rotten meat. Let's find that out. I know somebody's got some rotten meat right here. We won't even have to wait. I'm only taking one. Don't worry. Yeah, we really ate some stuff on the way home with that spino. We have an abundance of rotten meat. He ate rotten meat. There you go. So you can feed him fresh meat or rotten meat. He doesn't get any nutrition whatsoever out of berries. But you can feed him stem berries to make him hungry if for whatever reason you wanted to, right? Yeah. Yay. I guess he's stimulated. Well, that's all I got for now. Uh, my take on this beetle is that he's really cool. He's colorful. I imagine he's going to be, there's going to be a lot of variation in these things like there are in the rest of the dinos. So he's, he's kind of pleasant to look at for a dung beetle, I guess. And he's very useful, very functional. Now we figured out how it works. And just to recap that, hunger doesn't matter. Put the poop in the inventory. Wait 15 minutes. Collect your fertilizer and oil. Rinse, repeat, right? Did I say that was all I had? Well, okay. This is all I got, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I sure enjoyed making it. I really appreciate watching it. And, yeah, give me a thumbs up. That, that would help me a lot. Mash that button, man. And if you subscribe, that would be awesome, too. Because us loners got to stick together. You take care. Play the game. Don't let the game play you.